Hi Joe Falls! Thanks for watching this episode of Joe Falls Physiotherapy. So today I want to go through and find out if you have any issues open your mouth wide and sufficiently. So this one is clearly for people who don't have too much pain in your jaw which is right here in front of the tragus this thing poking out roll your finger off it in front of the tragus of the ear that's where the jaw is if you don't have pain here to open and talk and chew uh, wide then obviously you're ready for to have this test to check if you have the right amount of a uh, wide range of motion that is, we're looking for the full capacity of your jaw. Now, when do you need that? You may need that to uh, bite into something really big or thick, like burger or uh, bread, you know, like a French type of bread that's got quite a strong and thick crust. A yawning without hesitation of uh, your jaw being stiff or um, a pain. So, you need your own fingers, yeah? Now you will need your index, middle and ring finger all together. Now can you see right here? Yes, we got the focus. That part here, the first joint, you know where it bends? So from there to there to there. That thickness is about, let's say, uh, 50 mil which is about five centimeters now in an ordinary adult we would like to have between 45 which is four and a half centimeters to about 52 centimeters uh, 52 mil which is 5.2 millimeters so we're aiming for let's take it 50 and my fingers are not that big but uh, that first joints one two three fingers is about five centimeters so 50 mil so if you can put that in vertically and have your teeth top and bottom center teeth to accommodate the width of the three fingers or at the first joints closest to your nails yeah and then you know you've got a really healthy range of motion in your jaw okay and in fact if you feel stiff but you've got enough range to fit three fingers vertically at the first joints, then you know what you feel like it is a wide range, maybe way too big, yeah? So if that's the case, you can control not to over stretch by opening too wide by having the tongue on the roof of your mouth. That ensures that you don't over extend because some people have a very flexible jaw joints and the muscles that you can overstretch and the overstretch can also be a problem okay so let's have a go so vertical uh-huh sweet so i've got a good range but i've still got my own problem is if i open you watch the bottom center teeth from a normal bite position. Can you see it sort of curved to my right, which is probably your left on the screen? And that makes this jaw to pop out because this one is actually stiff in my case that is um, every jaw is different even if you may deviate to the same side as mine you may, you may have different scenario depending on what caused it in the first place mine would have been caused by a uh, number of um, uh, tooth extraction or teeth ex extractions on the couch with a, uh, with a local anesthetics and I had my mouth open too wide. And in my case, my dentist was my soccer coach, who was a tough soccer coach. Anyway, he was pretty tough. Uh, he said, look, you know, uh, well, let's get them out. Anyway, I was happy that he was going to do it on the couch. 
but uh, it just ended up having you know uh, parts of the capsule uh, because the the the, the wisdom teeth were impacted and it was twisted and he just adhered to the mental nerve which is here so he had to be very careful and it ended up being a long long procedure he knew it and i was told beforehand through the x-rays but you know ah hey it's all done i'm still and that's how i got into know the jaw better because how was i going to help myself uh the other thing was yeah so that really gave me another edge to learn about the jaw because you don't learn it in your standard uh, physiotherapy university degree in most cases not uh, some 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 courses do but not mine anyway but you know that gave me a, an edge in knowing the jaw a lot more so anyway when you do this make sure your head doesn't tilt like this or your neck doesn't tilt because sometimes you compromise your neck movement to try and try and get more range because it's stiff. So you've got to be in a good fixed posture to do this. Okay? You don't want to be. Yes, you may get bigger range, but that's not a true jaw range. You're using your neck to get extra range and that's changing the mechanics of the jaw joint that's why you get more range anyway so thank you for watching this episode of Joker's Physio uh, Jawful Physiotherapy and um, if you have any comments or questions please uh, leave, uh, leave, um, leave us some um, in the comments down below or please subscribe for future videos and happy rehab cheers